everyone. Hello, welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the series of books. Knowledge to Forage. And today we're going to teach you how to make some blackberry ketchup. Blackberry ketchup. Blackberry ketchup. Have you ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> Blackberries <laughs> taste amazing in crumbles and all sorts of fruity goodness. But jams, it... crumbles and jams. Yeah, That's jams. where we normally find a blackberry. But come find out how to make some delicious blackberry ketchup. For this recipe, you're going to need about two cups of freshly picked blackberries. <laughs> Did you know that there's hundreds of different types of blackberries and every single species tastes a little bit different? So if you find one bramble bush and they don't taste so great, just move on over the road just across the field a little bit and test out their different flavours. So once you've got your blackberries, we're going to head home and show you how to make this delicious blackberry ketchup. For this recipe, you've got your blackberries. We need some apple cider vinegar, some salt, um, some sugar. Step one, wash your blackberries. Pop your blackberries into a saucepan. We're going to add one cup of our vinegar. A little bit of salt. Bring your blackberries and vinegar to a light simmer until they turn soft. About 10 minutes. Now take your nice soft blackberries off the heat and pour them out and strain them over another pan and then you've got to work your blackberries through to get rid of the seeds and turn the blackberry fruit, the flesh of the blackberry, into a pulp and as you smush them they'll go through and turn into a paste down in that warm vinegar juice. squashing all the pulp through, scraping it off, you'll be left with this. Pure blackberries and vinegar, all infused and pulpy together. I'll add two teaspoons of sugar, brown or white, to your blackberry pulp. And lightly simmer this so the sugar infuses and it reduces down. The more it reduces, the thicker your sauce will be. Once your sauce is nice and thick, rich blackberry colour. Take it off the heat and add it to your jar. And there we have it. Ta-da! Yummy blackberry ketchup. Blackberry ketchup. I'm gonna try it. Taste test guys. Tastes. Very nice. Vinegary. Mm. Blackberry. Really mm. nice. Really delicious. It's the kind of sauce you can use it like ketchup with your chips, which is yeah. delicious. But also, I think it'd be really nice with like a roast dinner. Oh, yeah. Mm. You could use it for anything. Mm. It's like a fancy sauce that you get in a fancy restaurant. Fancy blackberry tomato ketchup. That's well, it. not tomato, just blackberry ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> And you can add any ingredients you want to it. You could blend in some chili flakes and spice mm. it up a bit. Yeah, spice some it up. Sweet and sour blackberry ketchup. Yeah, mm. it's absolutely delicious. Really easy to make. The and possibilities I've... are endless. Mm. 
<laughs> Don't spill it on your t-shirt. <laughs> As always, people, it's been a pleasure. So, if you would like to follow us along on Facebook, we're always on there. And Instagram. Home is where our heart is. Mm. And TikTok. <laughs> and if you'd like to find out about any other Blackberry recipes, it's all in our mega book, Knowledge yeah. to Forage. Check out our series of books, Knowledge to Forage. Yes. And in here you will find blackberry roll-ups, which are amazing oh, yeah. lunchbox blackberry treats. Fruit roll -ups. Really blackberry easy. vinegar, blackberry crumble. Yes, the very, mm. very special blackberry crumble. And everything about blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of other plants too. Oh yes. How many? 60? 70? Yeah, and the poisonous plant section as well. Yeah. 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 So if you want to start your foraging journey and you don't want to poison yourself, then yeah, check it. out. And it's got over time. 60 recipes as well. <laughs> so, as always, everybody, look after yourselves. And we'll see you next time.